Thank you for staying with us. Sam Omache had a chat with elder statesman and founding member of the Arewa Consultative Forum, Tanko Yakasai, on the state of the nation and other issues. Here's the interview. Welcome to the breakfast show. My guest here is Elijah Tanko Yakasai, a Nigerian statesman and one of the leading figures in northern Nigeria. Can you comment on your visit to President Bola Ahmed Tinubu? We've been friends for some time. And as the president of the country, you can't just go and knock his door. You have to book an appointment and meet him when he's ready. So I went there on an appointment and we discussed the progress he's making because it's just taking over the country less than a year now, and therefore his immediate problem is to understand the issues, the implicate the complications, the problems, and therefore begin to address his minds and how he can address, deal with the problems. It's almost a year now. How will you assess his performance in various departments since he took office? I think he's doing very well, but you realize that uh, within a year, what he needs to do is to actually realize, understand the magnitude of the problems that is to be confronted with, and therefore prepare himself for dealing with the problems. And I think this is what he has been doing. I'm not around with him, but I'm sure by now, he has known all the problems and uh, he has uh, made up his mind as to how he's going to tackle the problems. There has been a, a number of issues uh, that has arisen since he became president. Uh, one of them was the removal of subsidy and the other one was trying to confront the Naira. How will you assess him on both sides? Well, you know, he promised to do that, and uh, what he did is to uh, actually uh, perform, uh, to implement the program he initiated. So he did his best from the beginning, and he's already doing whatever he can do to uh, satisfy the aspiration of the Nigerian people as far as the areas where he promised to deal with are concerned. What would you say about his removal of fuel subsidy? Removal of fuel subsidy, he promised it and he did it. And uh, since he has done it, my observation is that uh, the reaction of the people of the country is very favorable, favorable and nobody is complaining. And I think things are moving smoothly. No problem whatsoever. But um, I'm sure he must have studied the situation before making promises about them. So he is now doing what he thinks he should do to address the problem. And he's, I think, effectively addressing the problem. The issue with the Naira is that the Naira had two windows before it took over, and they promised to bring them together into one window, and the Naira jumped into about 1,950. Before recently, it started getting back. Now, some people are saying there has been some conspiracy against the Naira, and prices uh, have reduced to, have refused to come down even though the value of the Naira is not what it was before 1,950. How do you see the situation? Well, I don't know. I cannot answer you this question because I'm not part of the government. I think when you meet him, you will ask him this question. But all I'm saying, or I can say, is that uh, he's now trying to uh, deal with the problems he, as he promised to do. And uh, to some extent, he's making progress. You can't solve Nigerian problem overnight. It's less than a year now since he came to power. 
immediately that confronted him was to assess the situation and see how best he can tackle them. I think by now he should be in a position to make up his mind as to where his area of priority should be and how to tackle the problems from that angle. We have to wait or uh, watch uh, how he's doing it and uh, see how effective his approach is uh, in the country. On the issue of security, we have some problems across the north about security. What will you say are the major problems of insecurity, especially in the north? Well, the problem of insecurity in Nigeria is a long-time problem. It cannot be solved overnight. My opinion is he is doing his best, and it will take time before you deal with the problems effectively. I think he's doing his best, and I don't know what would be the opinion of other people, but as far as I'm concerned, he's doing his best. There's also the issue of restructuring. People have been talking about state police. Whether we should have state police or not, what is your view on it? No, I personally don't think uh, we need a state police. But um, this is not a matter for one individual. It should be a national issue. It should be a discussion that will take all Nigeria from every part of the country to assess the situation and therefore arrive at uh, reasonable, informed decisions that will help the, uh, solve the problem in the country. But um, certainly, this is a problem that you have to examine thoroughly so that you can have a program to deal with them effectively. And this is what I think he's doing, he's trying to do. Speaking about restructuring generally, people have been really debating the issues of restructuring. Do you think that the president should start a process of restructuring the country, even as we have it today? Well, um, you know, there are people who are known for a long time uh, advocating for restructuring of Nigeria. But unfortunately, till today, there is no blueprint produced by the agitators of restructuring as to how Nigeria would look like when it is restructured. I think the challenge is on their part to come out with their blueprint and tell the people of Nigeria that when Nigeria is re uh, restructured, this is how it is going to look like then it will then be up to the Nigerian people either to give them their support or not. But without knowing the actually inside out of the restructuring program, it will be very difficult for anybody to come out in favor or against the restructuring because nobody knows what it is. It's just like a slogan as far as I'm concerned. It has taken a long time. People to, are talking about it. I think it is high time that a blueprint is produced to the, presented to the people of Nigeria so that they will be able to study the program and make up their mind one way or the other. Another important one people are talking about is the distribution of federal revenue. Do you think there's more money in the center than should be in the states? Well, you know, when you are going to change uh, to change the revenue allocation formula in any country, or particularly in Nigeria, it is something that will need to be discussed thoroughly by the people of this country. And the 36 states in the country must be able to look at the situation and make up their mind support it or oppose it. That has not been done. Now I would suggest that uh, uh, those who are advocating for restructuring should please, it's high time for them to come out with their blueprint. I would like to know the blueprint so that I'll make up my mind 
whether to support it or not. So today I've been urging that I want to know the detail of restructuring. What is it going to, or what is Nigeria going to look like when it is restructured? Nobody told me anything about it. And I think uh, many Nigerians also would like to know what Nigeria would look like when it is restructured. So I think it's a challenge to those who are advocating for restructure in this country to come out and tell the people in black and white how this country is going to be restructured and when it is restructured, how it is going to look like so that people will be able to know exactly what it means. As far as I'm concerned, it's a slogan. No detail yet. And if anybody has the detail, I ask him to please come out tomorrow and announce it. Some people say that there is actually a clarity on it, depending on who you talk to. Some say, for instance, state police is one of them. Some states you have ownership of their natural resources, especially their minerals and oil. That is part of a physical restructuring. And some people say we on the we are on the path to that. For instance, Buhari's government was able to sign into law the fact that power should now be generated by the states. So in a sense, people believe that we are gradually moving towards restructuring without making a lot of noise. Now, what I was saying is that nobody has spelled out what restructuring is meant. Even Buhari did not do that. You see, you can't take people like the whole of Nigeria for granted uh, just by slogan, restructuring, restructuring. I don't know, it has been a long time since we have been talking about restructuring, but I'm surprised why nobody took the trouble to spell it out in black and white so that people will read it and will understand it and will be able to make up their mind one way or the other. Without that, restructuring will be a slogan as far as I'm concerned. There is this initiative called the Paluka Initiative that the administration of Bola Ahmed Tinubu has set in motion to provide a lot of facilities and settlement for people in northern Nigeria. It consists of many states like Sokoto, Kaduna, um, KB, Jigawa, and, and so many states. Are you aware of that program? Uh, uh, look, I'm just an individual northerner. I've never consulted anybody to know the position of the North. And there's no conference held by the North to come up with a position as yet. I think people should look for the program that uh, President Tinubu has and present